Hey what's up guys, KSK Royal here. Welcome back to your brand new video on custom ROM. It's been a while that I haven't posted any video regarding custom ROMs. I'm so sorry for that, I was busy with some other works. Anyway, back with the new video on custom ROM. This is Paranoid Android Quartz 4 based on Android 10. As usual, I have installed this ROM on my evergreen device, Poco f -Lin. In this video, let's talk about Paranoid Android and why I call it as the best custom ROM of 2020. Let's get started. Paranoid Android 10 is the brand new custom ROM of 2020 that is currently available for a few devices. This ROM brings some of the cool features which are bundled with the minimal user experience that together provides a super smooth, stable experience of Android 10. I have been using this ROM from few weeks and since then, I couldn't switch to any other custom ROM. As usual, in this video, I will be talking about some of the cool features, the performance of the device and battery life. Talking about features, like other ROMs, Paranoid Android 10 comes with the Paranoid Launcher which looks very similar to the Pixel Launcher. Swiping to the right from the home screen brings up the Google Card section where you get to view the personalized content and swiping up from the dock reveals the app drawer where you can find all of the installed applications. You can also get a search bar on the top to find the application you need. This launcher is fully compatible with Android 10 system navigation gestures. I mean, this is the special of Android 10. You can control the whole system with navigation gestures like iOS. This indeed eliminates the need of using the traditional navigation bar, which consists of three buttons. So swiping up from the bottom within any application takes you to the home screen, just like that. And swiping up and holding for a second reveals the apps feature where you can find the background applications. Now with these navigation gestures, going back to the previous menu is pretty easy. All you're gonna do is you can either swipe right or left from the edges of the screen that takes you one step back which is a pretty handy. These navigation gestures are super powerful and check this out. Using the bottom space, you can either swipe left or right to jump between the back and forth of the applications. Just take a look at this and how cool was that? Now, Paranoid Android 10 also offers some of the useful quick toggles which are pre-installed by default. From the quick toggle section, you can find a limited and useful toggle that you can add to the main dashboard of the quick tile section. You get to see a screen recorder, caffeine, night light, screen stabilization and more. Now this ROM comes with a built-in screen recorder that supports the built-in internal audio recording, meaning you can record the audio of any supported application or game in high quality. The developers tweaked the screen recording user interface that is much helpful from getting started. To record the internal audio of any game, you can change the audio source to internal and hit start to record the gameplay. Unfortunately, there is no way of selecting the resolution and frame rates to capture the screen and it defaults the full screen resolution to capture the content. Now, Paranoid Android 10 lets you customize your device by changing the styles icon shapes, fonts, accent colors, and more. You can access the style section by holding anywhere inside the home screen. Here you can create your own custom style. This ROM supports a default, a Google Sans, and OnePlus font out of the box. I'm gonna choose a OnePlus font, and then here you can choose the icon shapes. Then up next, you can change the readily available accent colors. Once everything is set, you can change the look of your device according to your fancy.
Now it's time to talk about biometrics. Paranoid Android 10 supports a face unlocking. Using your face, you can unlock your phone. But keep in mind, it's not a part of smart lock and it won't work in the extremely dark conditions. Since Poco F1 is having IR sensor that helps in unlocking the device in pitch dark light, but this face unlock won't use any IR data to recognize the face, which is sort of bummer. Other than that, this face ID works pretty well in bright light conditions. Alternatively, you can use the fingerprint sensor to unlock the phone much faster than face unlocking. Now, my favorite feature of this ROM is the built-in app locker. It comes preloaded with an app locker that helps in locking the applications and adds an extra layer of protection. You can unlock the app by using either a face ID or a fingerprint which is super awesome. Just take a look at this demo and you will love this built-in app locker. Now other features that it offers are pocket detection, double tap gesture to wake the device from the lock screen and more. Lastly, this ROM supports a built-in OTA manager that lets you flash the update without the need of booting into recovery. When it comes to performance, I would say it's pretty good and I'm impressed. From power to basic users, this ROM may not gonna disappoint you at any cost. All the basic tasks that you would do are super snappy and fast. As usual, I have played some of the graphic intensive games, it handled pretty good and no issues I have noticed so far. But when it comes to PUBG at high settings, you may face a little bit of hiccups during the gameplay. Apart from that, you can use this ROM in your daily life without thinking of any. Speaking about battery life, as of now I'm getting 5 plus hours of screen on time. And lastly, these are the benchmarks that I ran on my device. So the bottom line of this video, I would say Paranoid Android 10 is a minimal custom ROM in 2020 that offers a smooth user experience and I will be using this ROM for a few more weeks. And that's pretty much it guys, check the description for more information to download and install this ROM on your device. Thanks for watching this video, this has been Case Kirail, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon next to it to receive the post notifications. Thanks for watching, I will catch you in my next video. Peace.